In this video, we're going to learn how to determine where a graph crosses a horizontal asymptote. Now suppose that a line y equals d is a horizontal asymptote of a rational function y equals f of x. The solutions to the equation f of x equals d are the values of x where the graph of f crosses its horizontal asymptote. Now if the equation has no real solution, then the graph does not cross its horizontal asymptote. Let's take a look at an example. So if we're given h of x equals 8x squared plus 9x minus 5 over 2x squared plus 1, we can determine the point where the graph of h crosses its horizontal asymptote. So how are we going to do that? First we're going to determine where the horizontal asymptote is. The horizontal asymptotes, h sub a. So horizontal asymptote. And if we take a look at our degrees, we see that our degrees are the same. And so we're able to take the 8 and put it over the 2. So our horizontal asymptote is going to be 8 over 2, which is 4. So we have a horizontal asymptote of y equals 4. Now we're going to take our equation, 8x squared plus 9x minus 5 over 2x squared plus 1, and we're going to set it equal to the 4. Now that we've done that, we're going to solve. So we're going to move over and multiply both sides by the 2x squared plus 1 to get that gone. And so now we have an 8x squared plus 9x minus 5 equals, and we'll distribute that for 8x squared plus 4. And now we're going to go ahead and solve. So we'll subtract the 8x squared. Those cancel out. So now we have 9x minus 5 equals 4. We'll add the 5 over. And here we have 9x equals 9. So we can divide by 9. We're going to get the x equals 1. So what it's saying is that the function is going to cross the horizontal asymptote at 1 comma 4. So it's going to cross the h, a, our horizontal asymptote, at 1 comma 4. Let's go and let's take a look at the graph just so we can visualize that a little bit better. So here we have the graph of our equation in blue and the pink line, the dashed line, is our horizontal asymptote or at y equals 4. And we can see that right here at 1 comma 4, which is where we just found, right, that is where our function is going to cross our horizontal asymptote. And so that's how you determine the point where the graph of your function crosses its horizontal asymptote. 